Did you know that we can get the GTA V Tennis Teacher? That one at the beginning of the game. Besides this one, there are also several other sinister bugs here in GTA V that you probably didn't know. Or maybe you did, you'll know, right? There are a lot of bugs in this game. And in this video, I'll be bringing you 14 amazing bugs that exist here in GTA V. So if you like the channel, leave the like right at the beginning of this video to give that morale, that strength. And let's start the video. The first bug is this. For some strange reason, if we take that bike that Jimmy uses when he gets to Michael's house, sometimes you get there with Michael and Jimmy is coming by bike and you go to Michael's garage, you will see that you can't get out of the garage right and you can get a bike damage inside the garage. Like bro, it's a very rough thing, very bizarre, because I never even imagined that this could happen. I found out when I was coming to get a car with Jimmy's bike. The second bug here, which is extremely cool, it's the following. If you block the street with the bus, you will be able to see the NPCs go crazy as soon as you take the first shot and they all start to play. Like, I don't care what's down there. They will start to play everything there. If by chance a truck comes and blocks the way, if you are in a GTA online, you can use the atomizer gun to give the impulse and take the truck out of there. If you can't do that, you will need to go down and take the truck out of there to let the bug continue to roll. But it's a very bizarre thing. And I have no idea why this happens. If you fall off the parachute and don't open the parachute, you will end up dying. And so we think this is normal. But there is a very strange bug, which is the following. If you fall, open the parachute and then close the parachute for some very bizarre reason, you will end up dying. Depending on the height, you may end up dying. But at the same normal height, you will not die, as I will show you here in the video. That is, if you jump with the parachute backpack on your back, as soon as you hit the water, you die. But if you have already opened the parachute and closed it or released it, as soon as you hit the water, you will not die. And the reason for this is totally unknown. Another well-known bug is the following. If you keep hitting your car, like a bullfighter. No, I'm kidding. Everyone is hitting the car here inside the GTA V. There is a way for you to fix it without going to Los Santos Customs. Just change characters quickly and go back to the previous character and your car will be completely repaired. This works with everything. Even if you try to steal a military jet from Fort Zancudo's house and it was exploded, change and come back, that will be there. This is one of the strangest bugs. That has no doubt, that is the following. If you happen to come to a part and you have a ramp and go up on top of a car piece, like the moment it's sliding, you will not enter the physics of swimming in the water, you will go down on top of the piece, normally as if you were on top of the ground, like on the surface. Example, you can see that you can shoot normally, even change weapons down there. Your oxygen runs out. But if you do the code of invincibility, you can go down quietly and do this crazy thing that I'm doing underwater. It takes a while until you can get the handle and do it right. I had to do it about 10 times, but after I got used to it, it was very easy. Another thing I'm sure a lot of people know, it's the following. If you're underwater and your oxygen is running out, just change characters. In the same scheme of the car, you change character and go back to your character as soon as your oxygen is running out, that your oxygen will be completed again. Total. This is very useful for those who do not know the code of invincibility. For example, you're looking for money suitcases underwater. For those who do not know the money suitcases, I'll leave a card up here or the link in the comment for you to take a look. It took a long time, enough suitcase for you to get rich fast. Another thing that is very cool is the following. If you come to Los Santos Pier and go up the fifth step of this ladder, for some extremely bizarre reason, you will be able to jump and make it hit the guardrail. Sometimes it will go wrong, but look at that. I do not know why this happens. If you are in the sixth step, it does not work. And if you are in the fourth step, it does not work either. But specifically in the fifth step, it's good to shoot a few shots to mark. You can jump and make it fall in a very rough way. This also works in GTA Online. So that's it. Next here is the following, still at Los Santos Pier, for some strangely bizarre reason. Even if you have the police behind you or something like that, anyone who wants to kill you or take your blood, if you are right at the time that the people are trying to kill you, like a lot of people around you, go to the telescope and start looking for some bizarre reason you will not die. And like, this does not make any sense, but you can stay there as long as you want, it even serves to get the trophy. Anyway, and then as soon as you leave, you will end up dying, because there will already be a lot of people there on your side ready to shoot you. So as soon as you leave the telescope you die, but it does not matter how long you stay on the telescope. A very nice one here is the following. If you come here at the convenience store where we can make normal robberies and you come with the shotgun, if you aim at the guy and get very close to him, when he hands you the bag of money, you can hit him and steal the cash register. This will make you be able to execute the robbery kind of twice. For those who could not see it right, I will run in slow motion. As soon as the guy handed me the money, which was $158, 
I pressed to knock him down and I stole the cash register. So in short, I stole this store kind of twice at once. This bug is top. This bug here is the following. It's a weird thing, but okay. For some reason, when you are going to protect yourself from an adhesive bomb, even if you are next to it, it will not kill you. Just stay there in the corner of the wall. It's not a matter of the adhesive bomb, but of the protection. You can get really close there. Look, it fell here lightly. And press there, he will not die. You can see that it was so black on the side, you know, on the grass there. And the Franklin himself was not hit. I did not lose any blood. Even if the adhesive bomb is on the side, that is, if the guy hits you so badly in the online GTA, you will not be affected. Now there's a very rough one here, which is the following. I didn't even imagine I could do it. You can get in your garage with a gear. This is a policeman or another game emergency vehicle. The real thing is that when you get in the garage with this other vehicle, preferably take one that has an NPC inside. So if you see a policeman passing by on the street, go with the truck and the guy, maybe a police star appears for you and come to the garage. When you let go of the hook, you'll see he's going to be crazy trying to get out because basically the policeman, the NPC, he doesn't know where he is. So he's going to be going back and forth infinitely until possibly explode the vehicle. It's an extremely bizarre thing and you can also do it with other vehicles like you can bring a taxi driver, you can bring a firefighter, go there, whatever your creativity lets you bring there. Now this one is sinister but it's a little hard to do. Come on if you come to the first train car where there's this part of the stairs that's written crazy. If you press to aim there on the side then throw it down. You can kind of be kicked out of the train while you're using the protection of the game. This will make you float around the map. This took me a long time to get the handle. I made a lot of mistakes, so preferably for you who will try to learn this, do the code of invincibility. So when you fall off the train, you don't end up dying and have to look for another train. And once you get the handle, you'll aim down until you're kicked out. And then whenever you aim, it will give this zoom there, very buggy, very strange. But when you bug somewhere, you press there and it will unbug. And that's it. You'll be loaded by the whole map in a way, flying even if you hit the business. And such like in trees, you won't end up falling unless the blow is very strong, the character falls and you can't change cameras while that. In the first missions of the game, we can get the tennis teacher. We try at least, and we'll be running away from Amanda's house. If we get to Franklin, if you blow up his car, when the mission starts, you'll see the car coming out, but you'll still see the NPC of the tennis teacher. You'll still see that NPC running around the game totally randomly, as if they were two respawns. One tennis teacher is what's inside the car, and the other is what you'll find here in the game. Then you just make a decision. Eventually, you'll find him running around, and there's no problem that the mission won't fail. You can rest assured that the red car, eventually it will end up disappearing, so it won't fail. And then you can find the tennis teacher running around the street, and the best part of finding him running around the street is that you can shoot this guy. For some reason, he's kind of immortal. So whatever you have on you, you can shoot this guy that the mission won't fail. And then when you're satisfied with the horn, you can go back to get the original last but not least. In this location, there's a texture bug. I don't know how to say it correctly, but I think it's texture where there's an invisible wall that things don't cross on one side, but they cross on the other. So if you call the police attention or your friends, I don't know if it works on GTA Online. You can test it and put it here, and then you can put your car here, take a cover, and start using your gun. You'll see that the police, actually nobody, you'll see that nobody can hit you. You can see clearly that the shots of that police officer are stopping in an invisible place. Of course, if the police officer comes close to you, he'll be able to kill you. But other than that, you can do a lot of damage. Comment down below if it works or not on GTA Online. That's it guys, this is today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, watch the next video. Bye. What the heck's this?